Okay, while we're waiting for this to um, get a little leather hard, um, I'm gonna show you guys, talk to you about coils. Um, always make sure that you are using your tarp because clay can be very sticky. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I'm using the entire hand to make these coils and I'm going from side to side, okay? Now, with these coils, you wanna make sure that you are continually moving your hand down the coil. Now, because if you do not, what will happen is that you will make a thin section right here and that's not good. So, um, with your design, let me get another piece over here. This is a piece that we did a few, well, this one's mine, but it has a lot of different coils in it. We're even using spheres, little bitty ones. We're making circles, we're using line. So what you're gonna do is one, to coil it, to make a snail shell, I guess you could call it, you're going to roll it, just like what I'm doing here, okay? Now, this is not the end of it. This is just the beginning, because what you need to do now is get your wooden modeling tool, hold it so the back is pointing up and you're going to blend in those coils. And that's gonna help your coils stick together. If it does not have blending on the inside, it will fall apart, I can guarantee that. So you're gonna blend it and when you get ready to connect coils, you will connect them too. So let's say we have this all blended. All right, it's not blended on the outside. All right, we wanna keep that type of design. So it's three dimensional. It does come up off the surface a little bit, okay? Now, I'm going to kind of keep this in here for right now. I'm gonna take the paper out of it. Okay, but I'm gonna keep this in here to kind of help support it. So what I'm gonna do, and everybody's gonna get one of these too. This is a scoring tool. See how it's got those little prongs? You can use your needle tool, but this kind of helps out a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the scoring, the scoring tool, we're gonna to score up this section right here. And then we're going to score up this section. We're gonna take some slip that hopefully you still have. If not, you know how to make it. We're gonna add some of that sticky slip on here we're gonna take this part and we're gonna push it onto the surface, okay? So now what we're gonna do is on the inside, right here where we connected it, we need to blend these together because if we do not, it will fall apart, okay? And that would be very sad. Okay, try to get it in there as much as possible. If needed, you can take a little bit of clay and you could add a support coil right in there. Now, because this clay is pretty wet, we're not gonna have to score it or slip it to get it to stay because it's, it's pretty wet. Um, this is the clay that was over there in the plastic container, or not our plastic bag, so it is good clay. So we've started, this is my first part. Now, you do wanna be careful with this and add a little bit at a time. I would also add 
the next section opposite of what you just put on because we don't want it to get so heavy on one side that it starts to tilt because that could be a, a, a bad situation. Okay, so we want to kind of work our way. So we'll start, we'll put a piece over here and then we'll do the opposite two sides. Now you can create all different types of designs with coils. You don't have to do the snail shell as I call it. I'm just starting making this so that I have a good um, platform. You can also use horizontal coils and that is where you're just taking a coil just a regular coil, clean this off. And maybe I want to put a little, maybe some coils right there. So I'm going to get my paintbrush. I've, I have scored it up. And then what I'm gonna do is if you can see this, I'm going to push it on and then I'm going to zigzag it. Now the reason why I'm not adding slip in between those rows is because that clay is fairly is wet. I just added it to my bottom drape mold that I created and always make sure that you have your hand on the other side of where you're blending. Because if you don't, it will fall off. And that's not what we want. So you really have to be careful about what you're doing here. Okay, now if you find that, like I'm thinking this side is kind of falling over a little bit, we may want to get some newspaper and put underneath that to help hold it. And I'm gonna put you on pause for a minute. Maybe.